Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we're testing every single mask on Amazon. Today I am testing a user submission from someone named David, if that's your, your real name, and I'll read the letter. Hello Lloyd, my name is David. We spoke briefly by email. I'm writing to you from a dental office and have closed two different lots of the 3M Auras. Staff have remarks seem to fit and look a little different. Uh, he's included the lot numbers. The 3M fraud department was of limited help determining whether they're authentic, so we're sending them to you to see if both lots test the same and on par with what you expect from an authentic product. I've, I've gotten the 3M Aura is the one I've tested the most, the absolute most. People are always like, Lloyd, is this mask real? Is it fake? Uh, it's a, what 3M did, probably the only time they've copied somebody in their life, they copied the KF94 design. It's a great, great design. If you've seen my videos on KF94s, love them. Uh, this is, uh, he said lot A212089. Um, 3M has a, does have a problem with uh, counterfeits because, uh, well, they're the biggest company, mask company in the world. Um, and uh, you know, it's when people come after you, right? Um, but they are usually unable to tell if something is fraud or not uh, unless you uh, can tell them which distributor you bought it from, which most people can't right now because everything's crazy. So because of the uh, pandemic. So I'll go ahead and put this in. I've had fake 3Ms, but uh, they, the fakes even test well. Because they have a really good fake, you gotta, you gotta have a good product in it, or a good melt blown in it. So we'll open this up, test the head straps. It's great. It's a great product, honestly. Probably the best mask that you could buy is the 3M. This is the Aura. Aura 9205 is, uh, in terms of safety, is probably one of the best masks you can get. It's now being made, uh, assembled in the US with uh, parts from China. Um, and uh, smells like <laughs> I hate the smell of it. It's like the glue they use for the nose foam is horrible, but. Oh my God, that smells horrible. Oh my God. Oh, wow. This is the, oh God, I'm gonna die. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm, I'm inside of like a can of gasoline and arsenic. This is horrible. I would say this is probably a fake. Good Lord, what happened? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> that is the worst smelling mask that I've ever had. And the nose wire is super weird. I think this is a fake. Yeah, the, the aluminum strip is weird. It's testing great though. It's on 99.64 and airflow resistance of 119 Pascals. That's great. Go ahead and stop this. And I'll test the other batch. This is batch two. Good Lord, that's awful. That is real bad. I do not enjoy that. No, thank you. No, thank you. A211838. So this is a different lot number. Good night. What is going on? Okay, we'll test that one. This is the second batch. Test fine, it's like from a protection standpoint, if you can get past the, I think you'll probably die from the smell. Not from COVID though. COVID ain't getting through that. Ugh, nothing gets through that. All right, same thing. I'm going to do it again for the people while the test is running. Do you think I would know how to put this mask on by now? I don't. Oh, man. It smells like you're inside someone's, like, it's like, uh, it's, Oh God, I don't know. And, and then like the material is, it's weird. I, I feel like it's like, you know, the stories of like the, the poor old lady that went dead, died for a couple days. And then like, you know, they find we're with the cat who like ate her face. It smells like that apartment. Good Lord. This is, this is weird. So, you know, when looking at like, when looking at like, uh, um, 
fraud things, you know, it's like the little things, like look at how like this is bending just after, you know, putting it on once, like, I don't know, this could be, right, but look at how it's pushing through the fabric. I actually have a, a real Aura, I'll pull it out in a second. I just bought it from Home Depot. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the PFE machine. 99.60, 99.60 airflow resistance of 114. Uh, it, it protects you, but that is, I've put on auras before, and none of them smell that horrible. Like that, that is not, there's something wrong with that. Uh, maybe it's a factory reject. I mean, all of the markings seem correct. Oh, I would not want to use that mask personally. All right. David, thank you for sending me through that, uh, I guess. By the way, this would be an easy way to kill me. It's just send me a mask laced with like something horrible. I'll put it on and die. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this more than I enjoyed putting on those masks. And uh, yeah, I guess, I guess send me your masks, but not the ones that smell that bad. Jeez, David, come on. I hope you're not making your employees wear this. All right. I will catch you on the next test. Thank you so much.